the starting lineups conclude. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back momentarily with the NBA playoffs. Round one of the East rolls on. Game two, just about ready to tip off. Playoff basketball on 2K Sports. In this game, we'll see the Milwaukee Bucks going up against the Detroit Pistons. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And giving us the rundown from the sideline, David Aldridge. D.A., it's all yours. Well, almost all of the Greek Freaks' points come in the paint. Giannis said, I can already do a lot of damage, basically, without a jump shot. Just driving, making plays, and free throws. When that jump shot comes, it's going to be a problem for a lot of players in this league. Kevin? <laughs> You're right, D.A. It'll be scary. Thanks. And now the opening lineup for Detroit. At the forward positions, Snell and Griffin. Rose is out there with Reggie Jackson. And it's Drummond in at the center, filling out the middle. And for Milwaukee, Matthews and Middleton, the two wings. Giannis is the four with Lopez, the five. And it's Bledsoe in at the point guard. Tip-off goes to Milwaukee. Six to shoot. Giannis outside. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. You know, that shot's going to be there for Giannis Antetokounmpo because the defense is always worried about him attacking and driving the ball. It's just a matter of whether he can knock it down. Jackson passes to Griffin. Drummond trying to get himself free. Changes up, and it's good on the way in. This is what Drummond is known for, fellas. I mean, assertive, aggressive, relentless, hardworking. He's just a dogged offensive rebound. Wudzo for three, and it's Griffin with the rebound. Detroit with the ball. And the rejection by Giannis! Matthews, no one around him. The Bucks keep it going. A new 14-second clock. Really, you know what? Trying to keep Antetokounmpo off the glass, that's a tough assignment because he's long and he can leap. 13 feet away, and he knocks down the jumper. Griffin created the space for that shot. Milwaukee's gone one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Middleton outside. Offline with his three. Rose in the post, defended by Middleton, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. When Rose is attacking, guys, I mean, the defense has to act. He puts them on their heels. The Pistons shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one drops. You know what? We've recently been able to watch a different Rose here. I mean, a better, more efficient, more confident player. Man, I love seeing that. And the Pistons making a change here. Kennard's checked in. And Rose drops them both. Already a very confident player. Knocking down those free throws only fuels that. Outside Matthews. Bloodsoe with it. With some arc, Lopez dishes to Giannis. Tries again, and the layup is good. Giannis has got seven. Well, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. And you know what? They're going to keep using him. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Master Rose. Outside Jackson. Pistons passing it around. Here's Kennard. Shot's good. Griffin making the play. I like the play call. Very solid. Making perfect use of the pick to get a great look. Middleton on the wing. Fires the three. Hands it from downtown. You know, Bledsoe has developed his passing skills to the point where you've got to respect that part of his game. He's doing a nice job finding his open gaps. Here's Griffin. 
rebounded by the Bucks. The results in their game on Sunday left no doubt. Yeah, I mean, we saw them do a little bit of everything in that game. Showed a lot of versatility. And, you know, everything seemed to just kind of flow naturally for them. Felt like they were in a groove from the opening tip. And the Pistons decide to take their first timeout right here. here for Milwaukee and a different look here for the Pistons Markeith Morris is checked in for Andre Drummond Dumboya comes in for Blake Griffin Brown is checked in for Derrick Rose and Langston Galloway subbed in for Jackson passes it to Morris over Lopez Morris with the bucket And so Hill will bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Pass to Lopez. Dishes it to Korver. And there's the pass to Connaughton. And another three for Milwaukee. And Korver, a team first guy. When one of his guys is open, he wastes no time in delivering the pass. Back to Galloway. One thirty left to play here in the first. Morris. Headshot off. Good D by Lopez. Bucks leading by five. Hill passes to Connaughton. Good, and it's Hill picking up the assist. Connaughton's got five. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Greg, you're exactly right. I mean, everything seems to be dropping. Impressive scoring here. Here's Morris. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. He'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play and then kept his focus and able to still knock it down. And Greg, to be able to take the bump like that and maintain control, that's not easy to do. I know you're kind of a little fella, but I was a big guy when I played, so I know how difficult that is. That was impressive. Let's see. Jim Frazier's checked in for Kanon. Morris, no good on the free throw. Milwaukee's gone 3 and 6, 50% from deep so far tonight. And that one's good from Connaughton. Seven points in the game. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've got here in the first half. Pass to Galloway. Here's Morris. Over Lopez. Morris, no good. You know, you'd like to see a little more effort there defensively, but maybe they wanted him to take that shot, baited him into it. Five-second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Frazier dishes to Galloway. There's 14 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Doom Boya, two points. That one goes. No surprise there. I mean, realizing he has the size advantage, he exploits it perfectly. Hill drives in, misses the lane. The scoring fast and furious as we end the first quarter. Bucks ahead, a five. And we'll get going after this from Milwaukee. There are a lot of letters that go into the spelling of Giannis Antetokounmpo's last name. He helped set the record straight of how you pronounce it. In the Greek way, you got to say with a D. So it's Antetokounmpo. But in the Greek way, you say with an NT, like Antetokounmpo. Whatever you got, just say, you know, it's Giannis Antetokounmpo. <laughs> Seems easy enough, right? <laughs> I guess so. I think a lot of people are going to stick with Giannis or the Greek freak. And glad to have you with us as we get going here in game two. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for Milwaukee. They definitely had a hot hand from three-point range. Always nice to get off to a good start. 
The other thing they've had going for them tonight is their passing. I mean, doing a nice job. Plenty of their points early on coming off assists. We've got Robin Lopez, George Hill out there with Kyle Korver. Then it's Ilyasova, and it's Connaughton in at the three. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. Frazier the pass to Dumboya. It's three pointers off the mark. That's a look you cannot pass up. It's also one you shouldn't miss. Corford issues to Hill. Puts up a three. The shot misses. The Pistons go the other way with it. Galloway, the pass to Frazier. That's good. And so Galloway with the assist. Man, what a pass that was there. He really, really relishes making the game easier for his teammates. Here's Hill. Softly drops in the floater. Hill's got the lead up to seven now for the Bucks. Boy, the precise placement by Hill with these floating jumpers, that's a hard shot that he's mastered. Dumboya can't get it to go. The Bucks have gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Corver kicks to Hill. Passes it to Lopez. Over Morris. Lopez, no luck. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on that one. A nice shot by Frazier. And I'll bet his percentage is pretty high from that range. And so he'll bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Leading by five. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. now out there. Now Bledsoe still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring hit from him. A high motor keeps Drummond engaged defensively. He doesn't want to let any shots go in. Here's Antetokounmpo and the dunk by Giannis. Oh, Kevin, not a petty, not a Manny, but a face. Oh, a bounce to the outs, Greg? Yeah, show it off the bunny. <laughs> you said it, Kevin. He's a highlight reel, always on the launch pad. What's so right side? A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Jackson looking around, fires it up. That's in, and he found his range with that one. Now one for two. You know, they'll take the points, but I'm sure Coach will prefer a higher percentage look next time. Here's Antetokounmpo and the dunk by Giannis. And I tell you, it's ridiculous how much space Antetokounmpo covers in just two strides. I mean, the way he handles himself going to the basket, and it is one sight to see. Here's Griffin. Gets that one to fall after missing his first two. One for three from the field. Whatever the defense gives, that's what he takes. A sign of a skilled offensive player. On the wing, Giannis. Good, and Bledsoe gets the assist. Bledsoe's got three assists in the game. At the offensive end, he's been assertive and efficient, guys. A big reason why they hold this lead right now. Pass to Griffin. Here's the three. Sinks the triple. Griffin's got five points now in the quarter. And they may be leaning a little too heavily on the three-pointer when, when there are better looks to be had inside. Yeah, and it's one thing when your shots are falling from the perimeter, but when you go cold and things aren't going as well, you've got to get that thing inside. Mix it up a little bit. Ludzo and a good offensive board, and he gets the bucket. ludzo has got his first two points of the night. A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. Especially, Greg, when you're scoring the ball at a decent clip the way they have. I mean, they've done exactly what's necessary to take the lead. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint.
We've got 113 left in the first half. Rose surveying the D, and the shot goes in. Well, he's experienced at running screen and rolls, isn't he, guys? I mean, Rose is a pro at picking the defense apart in pick and roll situations. Lopez passes to out of the Kumbo. Rebound, Detroit. Here's Kanon. Now the pass to Griffin. Over Middleton, and the shot is good. The Bucks' lead has been cut down to just two points with the bucket from Blake Griffin. He has gotten into a great rhythm here in, in this quarter, playing with just bundles of confidence. Two-second difference between shot clock and game clock. And here's Giannis. He's got 13. Down to five on the shot clock. There's the three. That one, no good. So that'll be it for the first half. Fairly even battle underway in this one. Bucks lead by two. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Chris, you guys were able to get the lead. What was the key to getting all those open shots? Uh, it was just getting stops, uh, getting rebound, getting down the cushion, uh, finding lanes, finding open guys. And you made the most of it, Chris. Thanks a lot. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, y'all. We're reporting to you live here in the sold-out arena. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. Well, for the Bucks, getting out to a 2-0 lead in the series would mean so much to them. And it looks like this game could go down to the wire trying to achieve that goal. This game is definitely still up for grabs the way these two teams are battling. Kenny, your thoughts on the Bucks' first half? Well, their ball movement was phenomenal. Now, they're in good position to win this game, large in part because of those assists. And this is the thing, Ernie. When you win as a team, you feel better about everything that happens. Check. what do you think about the Pistons? They did some good things, but the defense could have been much better. They allowed too many open looks, allowed the other team to make over half his shots. Some of that is not getting enough pressure on the ball, not really contesting at the rim. They look good, but not good enough. That about wraps it up. Time now for the second half of the game. We go to Kevin Harlan for the call. And we're with you again as our round one coverage continues. You look at Anadokounmpo in this one. He's been everywhere. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate with, within the first few quarters. And you know what? It helped that they had a few guys with very hot hands on the perimeter, too. And we're happy to have you back for more playoff basketball here in round one. Well, we've got a moment. Let's set the floor. Brought to you by Gatorade All Fueled Up for the second half. On the court for the Pistons. On the front line, the talented duo of Griffin and Drummond. Rose is out there with Jackson, and it's Snell in at the three, the small forward. The Pistons trailer. Jackson kicks to Rose, outside Griffin. Outside Jackson for the lead. They get it again. You know, his positioning near the hoop always to his advantage. Just a terrific job to tip that one back in. Once so, taking his time here. Five on the clock. Loads it up for Giannis. Throws down the alley-oop slam. Love the read there from Antetokounmpo. I mean, his basketball IQ is really impressive when it comes to alley-oop attempts. Too long in the paint. He's hit with a three-second violation. For Detroit, they have shot two of three from the free throw line tonight. And he shows the focus there, nails the technical. 
And, and Reggie Jackson, the former 24th pick by the Thunder, wasn't content to back up Westbrook. He basically forced his way out in search of a larger role. Looking at who's out there now for the Pistons. Dumboya comes in for Tony Snell. And Langston Galloway subbed in for Derrick Rose. Jackson, that's a two-pointer. Again, the miss by the Pistons. That's one for their first four to start the second half. Middleton, the pass to Matthews. It's Drummond with the rebound. Drummond's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Jackson dishes to Dumboy. Pass to Griffin. To the wing on the left. For the lead. And again, it's the Pistons missing. Yeah, the offense scuffling a bit to start this second half. Only one for the first five. Well, he's known as a shooter, is Matthews, but I like seeing him finish over the defense. When Wesley's driving, he's determined to finish at the basket. Jackson with it. Matthews covering. And it's Drummond with the jam. And I like the timing, Kevin, that Drummond has on these alley-oops. That's not as easy as he makes it look. He knows precisely when to leave the ground to receive the pass and finish it off. Timeout called the Bucks. And team strategies mostly guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak. Different look from Milwaukee. Robin Lopez is checked in for Lopez. Ilyasova comes in for Chris Middleton. And it's Pat Connington in for Matthews. Then for the Pistons, Markeith Morris is checked in for Drummond. Brown comes in for Blake Griffin. And Tim Frazier subbed in for Reggie Jackson. Strong and compactly built. I tell you, Bledsoe's tenacity overpowers some of his defenders. Here's Callaway. No good. That would have tied it. Bucks leading by three. Bledsoe kicks to Giannis. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. Detroit's gotten blank from three-point land so far in the third. Still 0 for 3. Frazier the pass to Dumboya. Galloway, no good. And so onto the Kumbo will bring it up for the Bucks. Since halftime, they've only allowed five points. Bledsoe finds Giannis. Here's Connaughton. He has seven. Pass to Ilias over. Takes the turnaround J. And Galloway pulls it down. Pistons trail by three. Tumboya gets a wide open look. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. Giannis against Morris. Onto Takumbo. Dishes to Lopez. And Giannis throws it down. And you know, this is why people are so high on Ante Takumbo. He's a ferocious player, great competitive spirit, tremendous work ethic, and highly skilled. He wants to dominate. Lopez against Morris. Another shot. Jumboya passes to Morris. No good. Shot missing. Bucks leading by five. Down low. And onto Takumbo. Swings it in. Hey, that's why Anta Takumpo is so feared Lee White. I mean, when he's close to the rim, he's most likely going to flush it on him. Our timeout called by Detroit. We have to like what we're seeing from Giannis Anta Takumpo. Yeah, he is on a major roll today. This timeout was desperately needed. They've got to come up with a new game plan designed to shut him down.
check in for Milwaukee. Hill comes in for Eric Bledsoe. Detroit also making some changes. Drummond's checked in for Markeith Morris. Luke Kennard comes in for Langston Galloway. And it's Rose in for Frazier. Here's Drummond. Dumboya kicks to Drummond. Over Lopez. And with that, the Bucks lead is cut to just five on the basket from Drummond. Bucks have gone five of nine on field goal attempts since halftime. Corver passes to Ilya Sova. Shoots over Dumboya. And another basket for Milwaukee. Nice looking shot from Ilya Sova. He hits these shots consistently, especially when the defense doesn't make their presence felt. Rose against Hill. Now here's Rose. And that's going to be a travel. So it's Milwaukee bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. Their lead is where it is because they've gotten good shots. A lot of good shots. And don't go away. We'll be right back. And how about a look now at our assist of the game? Brought to you by State Farm. And he's always been uh, the favorite to bag this honor. These kind of feeds are his bread and butter. Well, you can't run away from the DNA. When he's running the show, he makes sweet highlight reel plays night in and night out. NBA playoffs round one. Thanks for joining us as we get back to the action on the court. Ilya Sova at the four with Lopez at the five. George Hill out there with Kyle Corver. And it's Middleton in at the small four. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. And the length of Ilya Sova, really a problem for defenders. Very tough to keep from fouling him when he's looking to score. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for Milwaukee. Show. Anytime you get as many points in the paint as they have, you know you've got a good thing going and you just want to keep it going. And also, their second chance two, two. points have been a story all night as well. But that's just pure effort and hustle. And he makes the first. Well, you think about Ilya Sova's lethal jump shot. It makes him a valuable player because he can stretch the floor. He hits both from the strike. And among NBA bigs, he is known for his ability to deliver at the free throw line. Jackson passes to Drummond. Outside Rose. Pass to Jackson. Just four to shoot. Here's Griffin. Yes, and it's Rose with the assist that time. Nine points for Blake Griffin. Knows how to run a team, guys, and facilitate accordingly. Rose makes those around him better. To the inside, Ilya Sova. An easy two points on the layup. And the Bucks lead by nine. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Here's the pass to Rose. A three-pointer off the mark. And for Milwaukee, they're shooting really well. 54% from the floor. Here's Lopez, nails the baby hook. And now it's an 11-point Milwaukee lead. You know, that's what you want out of your point guard. Hill is really doing a nice job getting the ball from side to side and not hesitating at all in doing it. Jackson passes to Drummond, and Drummond throws it down. And didn't do anything fancy there, but didn't need to. Nope, he, his only concern right now is getting the points on the board, and I, I don't mean style points. 
Hey, I thought there was some style there, guys. What are you guys looking at? I mean, it was still a pretty sweet, flavorful one-hand flush. Rose attacking. That one goes in. Hard to D Rose up any better. I mean, sometimes this guy is just impossible to stop. Middleton outside. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. You know, even though they're on top in this one, you'd like him to be better out there because he's capable of being better. It sure would make things a lot easier, too. That's a textbook example of how to move the ball. Boy, you got to love that action. Timeout called the Bucks. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. Matthews checked in for Corbin and Eric Bledsoe subbed in for Hill and on our sideline our reporter David Aldridge. Hey guys I was able to listen to what Mike Boldenholzer told his team during that timeout. His concern was both their inconsistency and their amount of three-point shots. He said let's move the ball for good shots. If you have an open three take it. Otherwise let's attack the rim and put some pressure on these guys. Kevin? Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. on defense around three minutes gone here in the fourth quarter Jackson kicks to Rose like at six has to get on from deep but put that and Drummond is right there oh a nice tip in to salvage the points from that missed shot yeah, and those second chance points can add up and if you're the defensive team, it just kills you to give up baskets like that. Middleton can't get it to go. Well, he has not been sharp this period. Seems to be a little flustered out there, too. Drummond trying to get himself free. That shot off. Now the Bucks take it the other way. Middleton dishes to Bloodsoe. Passes it to Lopez. On the rebound goes to Griffin. Pistons trail by five. Rose passes to Jackson. That's a floater go, and he sinks the way up. And it's all about the release when you shoot the float. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. They're in front by three. There's 154 left in the fourth quarter. Jordan player of the game, Giannis Antetokounmpo. 
He's put on a shooting exhibition for us here tonight. He's missed a couple along the way, but it sure seems like everything has been falling for him. The only way to keep him from converting is to keep the ball out of his hand. And the Bucks making a change here. How's the Kumbos checked in? Well, I tell you, the future of the Greek freak is extremely bright. I mean, he really has shown the ability to deliver in important spots of game. Now a timeout called by Detroit. They're trailing by five. 144 and left in the fourth. left in the fourth quarter of this one to the paint Griffin that shot missing good D by Giannis good and the assist goes to Middleton 23 points for Giannis just off the charts incredible athleticism from Antetokounmpo bending off contact like a real pro Jackson kicks to Kanon that three off the mark and so it's Bledsoe. He brings it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. They've led by as many as 11 points. Pass to Middleton. Launches a three. And it's Griffin with the rebound. Detroit's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Brown the pass to Jackson. The feed to Griffin. Count it! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. And how about Griffin continuing to own the paint? A fantastic power forward with good touch from there. Derek Rose has checked in for Detroit. Down low. And Giannis throws it down. Late in the game, up big, they continue to attack. I don't think you want to get loose and sloppy or ease up, but it is time for them to start using that clock a bit. Back to Rose. Outside for Jackson. Shot clock at five. No good from outside. Down is with it. So it's Milwaukee picking up the win, and this win puts them squarely in the driver's seat in the series. Up now, break two zip with all the momentum on their side. I mean, in fantastic shape right now. If they can capitalize on this victory and win game three, you can just about put this series to bed. You got it. And that about wraps it up for this broadcast of the NBA Eastern Conference quarterfinals. For Clark Kellogg, Craig Anthony, and David Ong, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. So long.